The accounts of the kings of Israel and Judah are, are not sanitized for us in the Bible. We're, we're told the truth about what actually took place. And a lot of it is just very, very ugly. And this episode from 2 Kings 11 is one of the worst. And it has to do with Adaliah, who is the mother of Ahaziah, who had been the king over Judah, Judah in the south. Now, now Adaliah, she um, heard that her son Ahaziah was dead. And instead of entering just into a period of mourning, she actually sprung into action. She arose and destroyed all the royal family. So she is making sure that there are no others who could claim to have a right to the crown because she's going to take it. Now it turned out though that uh, Jehosheba, who was the daughter of King Joram, the, she was the sister of Ahaziah. She took one young one, Joash, and stole him away from among the king's sons in order to protect his life. So she put him and his nurse, who's caring for him, he's just a little one, put him in a bedroom, and they hid him from this horrible woman, Adaliah, so that he was not put to death, and he remained with her six years, uh, during which time Adaliah was actually reigning over the land of Judah. But in the seventh year, uh, Jehoiada the priest stepped into action in order to organize those who would actually see um, this little one, Joash, um, installed as king over Judah. So this, of course, had to all be done secretly. So they put together a plan, and that at just the right time, they bring out the king's son. They put the crown on him, and uh, they proclaimed him king and anointed him and there was great celebration. People were shouting, long live the king. So Adelaide hears the noise of, of this, and she goes into the house of the Lord, and what does she see? Well, there she sees this, this new king now standing by the pillar according to the custom uh, and the traditions of, of the people. And the people are rejoicing, blowing trumpets, and and shouting out, uh, long live the king. What's her response? She yells out, treason, treason. It's just almost laughable. Here she is, a, a murdering grandmother who destroyed her house, and and somehow she has the moral upper hand to to say that, that the crowning of Joash is actually treason. No, far from it. It's, it's the restoration of right order. But this Joash, he's a little boy, and he's under the care of Jehoiada, the priest. And Jehoiada commands uh, the military men that were with him, and they, they put uh, Adaliah to death. And Jehoiada makes a covenant with the people, and they actually begin to take action uh, in matters that were necessary in order to restore right worship in Judah. So what did they do? That the, They went to the house of Baal. They tore it down. Uh, they killed the priest of Baal, this false god. And they, they posted watchmen by the house of the Lord in order to protect the house of the Lord from, from those who would be enemies of Yahweh. So this, uh, this is a restoration of the line of David in, in an amazing way. And it's, a, it's quite a stain on the history of uh, God's people that this woman, Adaliah, did, did what she did and murdered her own family and then had to, had, through a plot of the priest, had to be replaced finally by um, the one little fellow who was still alive. 
you know, uh, when we think about just how precarious this world is with uh, so much sin and death all around us, we think, how is it that the kingdom of God could ever come under the sun? And, and then we look at the coming of Jesus and we see the enemies that were arrayed against him that wanted to see him gone, and yet the purposes of God will surely be established. Father, thank you for your complete dedication to your own holy will. Help us to trust you and to see even now in our day that the kingdom is coming in a wonderful way. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, friends. Have a great day.